Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of endoscopy at the Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I'm also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this video, I'll be outlining the important steps that one should take in preventing colon cancer. In fact, colon cancer affects approximately 50,000 new individuals annually and the lifetime risk of developing colon cancer is 5.2 percent. This means that there is 1 in 20 chance of you developing colon cancer in your lifetime. Colon cancer appears to affect individuals uh, more often uh, in countries that are more developed. On the contrary, in developing countries, uh, colon cancer appeared to be less common. And this appears to be related to our diet and lifestyle. And in fact, the longer you stay in the United States, the higher the risk of developing colon cancer. Immigration studies have demonstrated, for example, Japanese who live longer in U.S. tend to have higher risk of developing colon cancer. It is thought that the food that we consume, such as high animal uh, meat and fat content, may promote the development of colon cancer. And as a result, it is recommended that we uh, decrease animal uh, fat and uh, meat content in our food and that we increase fibers in, our, uh, in the food that we eat. This can be done with increasing uh, fruits and vegetables in our diet. It is also found that regular exercise is useful in the prevention of colon cancer as it is stopping smoking. Maintaining ideal weight is also helpful. New studies have demonstrated that taking aspirin once a day or other forms of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents such as Motrin can help in reducing the development of colon cancer. More definitive means of preventing colon cancer, however, appears to be screening for the development of cancer. Currently, there are several modalities available as a means of screening for colon cancer. However, the most widely accepted screening test is colonoscopy. Colonoscopy is re recommended for individuals who reach the age of 50. If the initial test is found to be negative, then the test can be done every 10 years. If polyp or a growth is found, then this needs to be removed and the test has to be done more frequently. If you have a family member affected with colon cancer, then the test should be performed uh, at the age of 40 or younger because there is an increased risk of developing colon cancer in individuals uh, who have family member with colon cancer. In summary, colon cancer is a very common cancer that affects many individuals in this country. And as a means of preventing this deadly disease, it is recommended that we modify our diet and lifestyle and undergo regular cancer screening starting at the age of 50. Thank you for listening.